The Living Interplanetary Flight Experiment Life or Phobos Life was an interplanetary mission developed by the Planetary Society. It consisted of sending selected microorganisms on a three-year interplanetary round trip in a small capsule aboard the Russian Phobos Grunt spacecraft in 2011, which was a failed sample return mission to the Martian moon Phobos. The Phobos Grunt mission failed to leave Earth orbit, and was destroyed. The goal was to test whether selected organisms can survive an as yet undetermined number of years in deep space by flying them through interplanetary space. The experiment would have tested one aspect of transpermia, the hypothesis that life could survive space travel, if protected inside rocks blasted by impact off one planet to land on another. Precursor Prior to the Phobos life experiment, a precursor life prototype was successfully flown in 2011 aboard the final flight of Space Shuttle Endeavour, STS-134. Known as the Shuttle Life, also life experiment. The experiment The project includes representatives of all three domains of life, bacteria, eukaryota and archaea. The capsule was transporting ten types of organisms in thirty self-contained samples, i.e., each in triplicate. In addition, one or more natural native soil samples were flown in their own self-contained capsule. The Phobos soil sample return mission was the only attempted biological science mission that would have returned to Earth from deep space, far beyond the protection of Earth's magnetic field. Sending biological samples through deep space is therefore a much better test of interplanetary survivability than sending the samples on a typical Earth orbiting flight. The project was being done in collaboration with the Russian Space Research Institute. Institute, the Institute for Biomedical Problems of the Russian Academy of Sciences, the Moscow State University, the American Type Culture Collection and the Institute for Aerospace Medicine in Germany. Specimens <inaudible> 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 Three fundamental guidelines governed the selection of the organisms. First, the organisms selected represent the three domains of life eukaryote, bacteria, and archaea. Second, the organisms are very well studied, e.g., having their genome sequenced and studied in many other experiments to make it possible to accurately assess the effects of the long exposure to space. If they had already been studied in space conditions so much the better, since it would enable researchers to pinpoint precisely how organisms were affected by the year's long exposure to the interplanetary environment. Finally, a strong preference was given to organisms that appear to stand the best chance of surviving the journey. These are extremophiles, organisms that thrive in conditions that would kill the vast majority of earthly creatures. The ten passenger organisms selected are listed below, bacteria Bacillus saifensis Discovered in JPL's clean room, spacecraft assembly facility. Might already be on Mars with spirit and opportunity. Deinococcus radiodurans is extremely resistant to radiation, can survive a dose of 5000 grays. Bacillus subtilis, strain MW01 Bacillus subtilis, strain 168 Very well known from other experiments Flew to the Moon with Apollo and had multi-year exposure in low Earth orbit, Archaea Halorcula maris mortui If Mars had an ocean, it would have been very salty. 
H. Maris mortui is halophilic. Methanothermobacter wolfe Mars Express has discovered methane in the Martian atmosphere. M. Wolfe is a methane producing organism. Pyrococcus furiosus P. Furiosus thrives at about 100 degrees Celsius. It was supposed to act as a maximum temperature indicator. Eukaryote Fungus, Saccharomyces cerevisiae yeast. Plantae, seeds from Arabidopsis thaliana mouse ear cress. Flew to the moon with Apollo. Animalia, tardigrades water bears. Have survived vacuum and radiation in low Earth orbit. Topic. Capsule design The mass of the bio-module on board the Phobos-Grunt spacecraft was 100 grams or less. The design is a short cylinder. The bio-module provided 30 small tubes 3 mm in diameter for individual microbe samples. It also accommodated a native sample of bacteria, derived from a permafrost region on Earth, within a cavity 26 mm in diameter. <laughs> <laughs> Mission failure The module passed stress tests including a shake test with vibrations at frequencies to 1100 Hz and an impact test of 4000 g, designed to simulate the potential impact of the capsule on Earth. The LIFE experiment was launched on November 8, 2011 on board the Phobos Grunt, however, the spacecraft failed to depart Earth orbit due to a programming error, and fell back to Earth in the Pacific Ocean. The module was not recovered. The team is seeking out future exploratory opportunities. See also. Astrobiology Phobos grunt Panspermia Planetary Society